So I'm going to talk about a fight that I didn't even watch. I didn't watch the Devin Haney Regis Pro Gray fight. I heard though that uh, Devin Haney got a shutout, and I predicted Haney would win. He made Pro Gray look like amateur Gray, from what I hear. <laughs> but you know, when I watched the style. A pro grade, that's when I thought he's not going to beat Haney. For one, he didn't look like a busy enough fighter to beat Haney. Haney has a high work rate. He, he's, you know, jittery and fast. And I thought that would give pro grade problems. And it sounded like it did. And it sounds like even Haney's strength at 140 is better because I heard he looked healthier. I saw him. He looked a little healthier than what he normally looks like when he steps on the scale. He looked full and hydrated, and he knocked down Pro Gray, what, once or twice? But I got my prediction right. Haney won it, and I thought Pro Gray would, you know, pull out some rounds, but uh, it was it was pretty much a, a clean sweep. He even said, Pro Gray even said after the fight that Haney was uh, better than he thought and stronger than he thought. Never underestimate an opponent, you know, even if they don't have any knockouts, you don't want to go in there thinking, oh, this guy can't punch. Um, I boxed dudes that weren't very uh, big or necessarily strong looking, and I'm thinking, oh, you know, what, what can they do? And then, you know, they can surprise you with some speed or a jab that was a little stronger than you thought, but you can never underestimate an opponent. And um, I think Pro Gray thought he was just going to go in there and manhandle Haney. And I didn't see that happening. Like I said, especially when I saw Haney running them heels in the sand, I was like, man, this dude's legs are going to be stupid strong. But what you guys think of that fight, the Haney Pro Gray fight, and what's next for Haney? Um, is he the best in the division? Is he the new Floyd Mayweather? You know, because. Once Floyd got into his later career, he wasn't really knocking out people because of hand injuries, but he mastered his defense, and he had just enough power to keep people off of him. He wasn't really knocking people out, but like I said, he had enough power to make people respect it and stay off of him, and that's kind of what kind of where uh, Haney is. I think he hits a little harder at 140. I still don't, you know, he still don't have the power of a Tank Davis or a Teofimo Lopez or something like that. But he might have enough power to just irritate him enough to stay back. And um, that's the way I see that. Let me know what you guys thought of that fight, though. LSR forever. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, let's make sure this page takes off. Like what? Like a car with the brakes off in WJ. Yay.